word of a lie, Anne drops a pile of plates and cutlery she was trying to sort out in the corner of the shop and it made the loudest clatter, bang, whoosh, on the amount of peace sound you could think of. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So as I said before in my last video, I was going to be doing something funny slash exciting and different on my channel today. So I'm just going to get started and tell you what this video is going to be about. And if you didn't know already, I'm going to be uploading on Wednesdays and Saturdays. So this is my Saturday video. And if you haven't already, check out my Wednesday video just updating you on my channel and whatever else. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you a story about the time, which was not so long ago, it was probably about a week ago. About a week ago, that's so old, but... <laughs> um, getting a bit excited there, wow. I'm going to be telling you about the time that my ex-friend was my waitress. The tension was real. <laughs> Get your tea ready, because you're going to be sipping it during this video, because a lot of tea was spilt, you know? A lot of tea was spilt. <laughs> so obviously, I can't say like the name of the person that was like my waitress. I nearly said her name, like even though I said I can't say her name. But it was a she, and I met her at youth choir. I've got notes here because I can't remember everything. I met her in a youth choir I used to be in, and we used to sing in that, <laughs> obviously in the choir. But I'm going to call her Anne Ray. I just mixed up the name. <laughs> I'm going to call her Anne Ray in this video. So, yeah. We used to be friends, but we stopped being friends because she was, like, too problematic and clingy and so un unpredictable and manipulative. Like, she literally invited herself on my holiday, um, and I think it was a birthday holiday, because I usually went to south of France for my birthday weekend. So she was like, oh yeah, let's go, and this, that, the other, without even like asking permission or getting any details of it or anything. She was literally so clingy, so unpredictable, and so manipulative and problematic. Um, she didn't go on the holiday though, but I, that is just like a point of how really obsessive she was. So... That day, me and my friends weren't going to go to this my favourite vegan restaurant, but we decided to go at the last minute. So, the story. I went to my favourite restaurant with my two friends, and I don't know if they want to be mentioned in this video, so I'm going to call one Jayla and one Sammy. Jayla's younger and Sammy's older, and they're both sisters. So we walked in and there was a waitress I'd never seen there before. I was just like, okay. And I didn't really pay attention until she turned around. Literally. The, thir the first thing I saw was like her face smiling and she's like, how, hi, uh, she's like, hi, how are you? And I was just like, and she was, and all my friends were like, Sammy and Jayla were like, yeah, yeah table for three. And um, her face dropped when she noticed it was me. Obviously, she just knew what was in for her. When I tell you her face dropped, it went from to real quick. So, I didn't know whether to laugh or cry with laughter. Because it was so awkwardly funny. And my friends didn't know who on earth she was. So I was like, I know her. And Tommy was like, how do you know her? So I was like, she's my ex-friend. She's an absolute <laughs> And she had to come back to her table, Anne Ray this is, the waitress, and ask if we wanted drinks. So as basic as we were, we got water. We weren't that basic to get tap water. We got mineral water. But yeah, we got water like basics that we are so 
She gave us her water and pulled it out and we were all trying not to burst out laughing because obviously I just spilled the tea of the fact that I knew her and they were all like, oh, it's your ex-best friend, like teasing me. And it was just so awkward and there was tension. Um, she, so she came back when we were still having a look at the menu. This rude, rude. Like, okay. You're meant to wait, that's the whole point. You're meant to wait till we close our menus, not while we're still looking. Like, open, close, open, close, there's a difference. So, um, and she was like, are you ready to order? Yeah. So obviously we weren't, but I wanted to make an inquiry so that I made that damn inquiry. I said, do you still have the vegan breakfast with the herb sausages? And Ray says, no, we don't do breakfast at this time. We only have smashed avocado on toast. I said, because I called up and someone said that if I wanted it, when I came in, I could have it made up for me. And this was true. I actually um, spoke to someone on the phone, which wasn't her because they had an accent. And they were like, oh yeah, if you want it made up for you, we can make it, this, that, the other. And I was like, okay, would you be able to make three? She said, yeah, sure, come in. So she supposedly went to go and ask, but she came back like, no, we can't do breakfast at this time. Avocado is the only breakfast available. So I was just like, okay, and carried on looking at the menu. Then she asked Jane and Sammy, are you ready to order again? They still weren't ready. So she comes back to our table and asks what we'd like. And so Jayla and Sammy ordered to, they, and they got the soup. And I asked, what I asked, like the rude, rude, savage I am. I was like, what do you recommend? And I looked her dead straight in the eye. She did not know what to do. She was like, she was like, she was just blabbering something really quickly and she's like, oh, but the beetroot burger's really nice. She had the beetroot burger's really nice. That's quite, that's quite popular. So <laughs> she was literally just like that. She didn't know what to do because I was looking at dead straight in the eye. Um, she, and she sounded so uncomfortable. I just loved it. So I said, oh, can I have a beetroot burger then, please? And Ray goes, so pretend this is her pad and paper. And Ray goes, sure and walks off it was hilarious so our food comes and she didn't give sammy and jayla a spoon to eat the soup with and just she just left my knife and fork on the side of the table so i had to like bring it towards me which was absolutely pathetic like is this her way of being petty i don't know um and ray is that your way of being petty because like i can teach you because if two's going to play that game, like, we have to play that properly, you know? Um, so, Jayla was like, can we have our spoons, please? And Anne just goes, sure. You know, her little line, sure. And when she comes back to our table, I didn't see, because I wasn't facing her, but she gave me the scariest death stare, apparently, Jayla told me. Behind my back, she was like, literally like the devil face, she was like, no, I can't do it right now. I just can't because I'm not serious. But she was like... She saw Jayla looking at her, so she goes... She does like a fake smile as she walks up to us and sees Jayla. And, yeah, it slowly turned into a fake smile, like, devil face. Smiley face. Sort of thing. So they get their spoons and we dig in. At this point, we're laughing and joking about everyday life, about her pathetic death stare as well. Because, wow, like, what is this year four? So we're not even, play we're not even paying attention to her. And all of a sudden, no word of a lie, Anne drops a pile of plates and cutlery she was trying to sort out in the corner of the shop. And it made the loudest clatter bang whoosh on a matter of pure sound you could think of like <laughs> she's got the most awkward look on her face she's like 
and like people like rush over to help her. Um, she she looks so nervous, and the boss is on the shop floor too, which was like even more awkward. But everyone turned and looked, and it was silent because it's like one of those restaurants. So you could hear Sammy, Jayla, and I laughing slightly. We were like, and I was like, stop, stop, like stop laughing, <laughs> and. Not gonna lie, I felt bad. I was like, guys, stop. But I was smiling. Then I said, oh, I feel bad now. But Sammy was like, no, don't feel bad. Like, this is karma. So I was like, well, true. Like, God is on my side. But Jayla could not stop laughing. Um, so she literally goes downstairs near where the kitchen is. And she tries to calm down. But she kept passing Anne Ray on the stairs. Um, so she dashed into the toilet because... Um, the kitchen is downstairs and the toilet is like there. So the kitchen's here and the toilet's there. And she has to go to the kitchen, obviously, to get the food. Um, so she dashed into the toilet. And we're all sitting at our table and we see Anne Ray outside talking to the manager when Jayla gets back. She goes outside and speaks to the manager. I'm like, okay what if you get kicked out because she was literally just sitting to the manager and they looked like they were having an intense talk uh, Jayla was like we didn't do anything so and Sammy goes we won't get kicked out like don't worry they don't they and plus like they didn't have anything to pin on us so it was absolutely fine so I just enjoy that good beetroot burger I'm eating which was delicious my I had in all this ruckus that is happening um, so Jayla and Sammy got dessert and I was still finishing my main because I'm the slowest eater in history. Then when we were getting ready to leave and paying our bill, Anne, uh, Anne Ray comes back inside after sitting outside talking to the manager for like 45 minutes. Um, which was really long, like, I really thought we were going to get kicked out. But um, So then we all pay our bill and we leave. But apparently, um, I think... Sammy was saying the wait the waiters and waitresses, the other waiters and waitresses were kind of rude because she was ordering like dessert with her sister, um, Jayla. And she said that they were quite rude and a bit like maybe abrupt. I don't know but how rude they were. But yeah, um, when I was saying something to one of the waiters, he kind of blanked me and spoke to the other waitress sort of thing. And I was just standing there like, okay, boo boo. Like, are you going to blank me or are you going to say something? Because I am paying my money in here and I want to get a good service, you know? But um, that was the worst accent I've ever done in my life. Don't be offended because... Wow. But um, that was the end of my story time. I hope you enjoyed it. It was really, really awkward. Um, I'm going to keep going back to that restaurant regardless because that is my favourite restaurant. My ex best friend slash enemy was at the restaurant, what are the odds? And I haven't seen her in years since like 2000 flipping 14. Maybe, yeah, 2014. So that was a surprise. Hope you're doing good, Anne Ray. What's good? If you're watching this, big up to you in it because you're in my video. You're that important. Like, okay, I will see you soon. Bye.